James here, Robertson Family Racing Pigeons. Hope this finds everybody doing well. One question that I always get from new pigeon fanciers and family members alike is, why are there close-up pictures of the pigeon's eyes? Why all the emphasis on eyes in racing pigeons? In no other animal sport, at least that I'm aware of, is the quality of the animal assessed in part by features of the eye. So what's all the buzz about racing pigeon eyes? Um, can a racing pigeon fancier determine the quality of a pigeon either as a racer or a breeder based on features of the eye? And what exactly are fanciers who emphasize eye sign even looking for. So that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Um, and for this special occasion, I'm wearing a pigeon shirt. <laughs> okay. And full disclaimer, I am not an eye sign expert or an eye sign guru. Um, the purpose of this video is not meant to be a pro or con eye sign, um, but rather just talk about it and explain what it is so that people who are new in the sport can be familiar with it. All right. We're going to start by talking about basic bird eye anatomy. What are we even looking at when we're looking at various aspects of their eye? Then we're going to talk about eye sign. What do proponents of eye sign look for when they're looking in the eye? And then finally, we're going to talk about whether or not there is a correlation between racing or breeding performance and aspects of the pigeon eye. Be sure to watch to the end of the video because we are going to take a close look at the eyes of several of my birds. Um, we'll try to assess them based on the eye sign criteria that we talk about. But again, you know, I'm not an expert in eye sign. Um, so I want your help. Put in the comments which bird eyes you think are best and why. Or you could put in the comments which birds you would pair up based on their eyes alone, if that's something you do. We're gonna have fun with this. So stick with me here. Most of the visible portion of the eye comprises the iris. The iris is a colored, muscularly operated diaphragm in front of the lens, which controls the amount of light entering the eye. Here, the foreground of the iris is red. Basically, the iris is a muscular shield that can either expand or constrict the opening in the center to regulate the amount of light that gets let in. At the center of the iris is the black pupil, the variable circular area through which light passes into the eye. It's simply an opening in the center of the iris. One thing you'll notice is the diversity in eye color among racing pigeons. And despite that apparent diversity, there's really only two colors. The background of the iris is typically colored through pigmentation in various hues of either orange, as shown in this eye, or white, as shown here. Uh, the white is also called pearl. Orange is the wild type condition and is dominant, whereas pearl is recessive. The foreground of the iris is colored various shades of red. The pigments in the eye are opaque and help prevent light from passing through the iris. An absence of pigmentation in the iris is caused by the pied ball gene, also known as the pie gene, and results in a phenotype referred to as the bull eye, as shown here. As one might expect, this phenotype is common in white birds since the pie gene causes a lack of pigmentation wherever it is expressed, be that in the eye or on the body, resulting in white feathers. One important point is that there is a huge range in the level of importance fanciers place on the eye, ranging from zero, that is, the bird just needs two eyes to fly, to analyzing minute details in the coloration and structure of the eye. And of course, everything in between. Here's a chart that illustrates some of the features that eye sign enthusiasts 
look for. So there's the pupil in the middle. The next circle they look for is a circle of adaptation. It's usually small, kind of indistinct. Um, then you have the more prominent circle of correlation. It has uh, little lines that uh, supposedly mean different things. Um, then you have various features of the iris. Um, we're going to talk about each one of these. Okay, let's start with the pupil. One thing people look for is good reflex action when light hits the pupil. So the iris constricts around the pupil to limit light, giving the appearance that the pupil is constricting or getting smaller. A small pupil is considered important to many breeders, whether or not they place emphasis on other aspects of eye sign. So the smaller the pupil, the better. So the quicker the reflex of that iris constricting, the better. All right, so next we have the circle of correlation. This can be a variety of colors. Here in this bird, it's gray. Um, this corresponds to the striated muscle that constricts or dilates the iris around the pupil. Uh, eye sign enthusiasts like to see a circle of correlation that is broad, has serrated edges, and they also look for um, kind of the texture of the circle itself. So they look for speed lines. These are dark lines that span the width of the, the circle. You can see that clearly in this eye. And then they look for distance lines. These are dark lines that extend um, along the length of the circle of correlation. Speed lines are supposed to be indicative of short distance birds and distant lines indicative of a good long distance bird. The circle of adaptation is a thin innermost circle that's situated just inside the uh, circle of correlation. It can be black, gray, green. It can have the appearance of being corrugated or wavy. Sometimes it's simply called the inner circle. And here people look for how broad the circle is and whether or not it completely circumnavigates the iris. Is it totally complete? The iris should be bright, richly pigmented, and granular in appearance. The presence of rich clusters of pigmented blood vessels form kind of a topography to the iris, creating the appearance of mountains and deep valleys in the iris. Um, I think they kind of look like clusters of clouds viewed from way up above. The greater the depth and richness in colors, the better. In some birds, the iris wobbles as it constricts, giving the appearance of the entire iris kind of trembling or quivering. When the iris wobbles, the iris quickly shakes back and forth around the center axis of the eye. Some fanciers regard this characteristic as a sign of an excellent breeder. All right, now we're gonna put our newfound skills to the test. We're gonna take a close look at some of these birds, see if we can recognize some of the elements that eye sign enthusiasts um, look for. I'm gonna take a look at some of my birds. All right, I need your help. Put in the comments. The eyes that you like best. Or if you see something that I missed in some of the eyes, make note of it, put it in the comments. All right, let's have fun with this. All right, first bird. So this is an orange eye. Um, looking at it, the pupil reflex seems pretty good. Um, that iris is able to constrict pretty quickly as it closes its eyes. Um, circle correlation, broad, serrated at the edges. There's some texture to it, kind of hard to discern whether there's like distance lines or speed lines. The iris is vibrant. There's great depth to it, forming those mountains and valleys. So looks like a pretty solid eye. Not exactly sure how an eye sign guru would rate this eye on a scale from one to 10, but I think it looks pretty good <laughs> for whatever that's worth. <laughs> okay, so this bird has a pearl eye, it has that white background of the iris. You can see some wobble going on in the iris as, it, uh, as the iris constricts, showing that reflex of the pupil, so that's good. Um, the circle of correlation is broad and also has some texture. Looks like some speed lines there, uh, especially around the four o'clock position. Can't really discern the uh, circle of adaptation. That's not necessarily saying it's absent, but uh, can't see it here. Yeah, overall good eye. 
Okay, so this is an orange eye, and the background color of the iris is pretty much uh, covered up by the rich red um, clusters of blood vessels. Uh, the circle of correlation is strong. Uh, it looks like it's packed with speed lines. Um, I think people would probably prefer to see a little more constriction in the iris, making the um, pupil uh, constrict a little bit more. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Here we have another pearl eye. You can see that pretty clearly. Um, I'd say the strength of this eye would be, given those criteria that we discussed, it's got wobble. You can see the wobble going on. It does kind of have a granular appearance in the iris. Um, the circle of correlation is a little bit smaller, uh, not quite as broad as you might see in other birds. It does have a circle of adaptation, but it's kind of difficult to see uh, in this video. But uh, let me know what you think of this eye. Here's an interesting eye. I'm not sure how an eye sign guru would rate this, but here we got kind of a, a little bit weaker circle of correlation, um, but the wobble is strong. You can see that. But if you look closely, you can also see that the circle of adaptation is totally complete. It's just that faint little circle lining the inside of the circle of correlation. You can see good um, pupil reflex as the iris constricts tightly around the pupil. Um, the iris has a very granular appearance to it. You don't have as many deep valleys and uh, mountains in it, but uh, what are you guys' thoughts on this one? Let me know. Okay, whether you're an eye sign expert or not, or whether you just like to look at eyes like me, I don't care who you are, this eye is beautiful. Look at that. Such rich colors, a lot of texture in the iris um, with mountains and deep valleys. Uh, the circle of correlation also has texture. It's broad. Uh, looks like it has what would be considered a distance line at two or three o'clock. I don't know. I'm assuming that's what that is. Um, just a beautiful eye. It's got the wobble. It does also have circle of adaptation. It's thin, but um, it is there. Difficult to see here, but yeah, just a beautiful eye like this one a lot okay here we have a bull eye this is a splash or a pied bird the circle of adaptation is apparent there surrounding the pupil one thing that's cool about this eye is it is a split bull eye so up there around 11 and 12 o'clock you can see there is some pigmentation in the tissues of the iris Again, there's some wobble going on there. Eye sign experts, put your thoughts on this eye in the comments. This is bird number seven. Here we have an orange eye. Um, you can see that the iris um, constricts really well. So you have good pupil reflex. The circle of correlation isn't very broad. It's a little bit thicker around the two o'clock to six o'clock position. Given my understanding of eye sign theory, I believe eye sign gurus would consider this eye more of a racing eye instead of a breeding eye. Care to comment? Put your thoughts down in the comments below. This is bird number eight. Here is a pearl eye. Uh, you'll notice right away that the circle of correlation is broad. It's serrated around the edges and is jammed packed with what would be considered speed lines. Uh, just a lot of texture there. Um, the iris has good depth to it with mountains and valleys. You can see the eye wobbling a little bit. Uh, this bird does have a very thin circle of adaptation. It's very difficult to see in this video though. Overall, I think this would be considered a pretty good eye. What are your thoughts on this one, guys? Help me out.
of all the birds that we've looked at so far, I think maybe this one would rank the highest among um, iSign gurus. You'll note the circle of adaptation is super strong. You can see it's there lining the pupil. There's a good amount of wobble going on in the iris. The iris is richly colored and has great topography. The circle of correlation is broad. Um, it isn't as textured as some of the others we've seen. One thing that's unique about this one compared to some of the other orange eyes that we've seen is that the circle of correlation is not orange, but it's kind of a gray green color. The one thing that we could ding this eye on would be the amount of constriction going on in the iris, but this was taken at pretty low light outside. On a non overcast day, the pupil would definitely be constricted more by the iris. All right, second to last eye. What do you see in this eye? Pigeon world. What stands out to you when you see this? Anything? What stands out to me most is probably the reflex. That pupil gets dialed way down in size. Also, strong circle of correlation and a vibrant iris with good texture. Anything else I'm missing? Put it in the comments. Bird number 11. Okay, and here's the finale. Best for last? Maybe. You tell me. So... This is a five month old young bird. So a lot of the pigmentation is still developing. One thing that stands out to me right off the bat is how small that pupil gets uh, with the reflex of the iris. Just really impressive there. There's also some wobble going on. And if you look closely, you'll see that there is a full circle of adaptation. The circle of correlation is well-developed, textured, and serrated along the outside edges. And there is some nice texture developing in the iris as well. So all in all, I think it ticks all the boxes for an outstanding eye. Let me know your thoughts. Okay, so I did mention that at the end we were going to talk about whether or not there's a correlation between racing or breeding performance and elements of the eye. In short, I do not know of any concrete data to support eye sign theory. Um, as a scientist, of course, I like to see the data to support things. That said, I think that there are some elements that have merit uh, that can be informative and reflective of good health, vitality, and maybe even uh, potential as a racer or breeder. However, once we start to get into speed lines, distance lines, etc., I become skeptical. It's true that birds with all kinds of eyes win races, lose races, breed winners, or breed losers. That said, when we look at champion breeders and some famous racers, such as the birds of Willem Falco Eben, you can see all their birds have stunning eyes eyes that have all the elements that we just discussed and more they are simply outstanding as far as those criteria go coincidence well i'll leave that for you to decide thanks for watching